All right, ladies and gents, we're back. We're back with 9.5 alternating series test. So we talked a little bit about alternating, not necessarily series, but we talked about oscillating back when we talked about um, like sines and cosines and at infinity, right? It, they oscillate between zero uh, or between negative one and positive one. And we're going to be talking about alternating series today. Um, and that's really very similar in terms of they have different types of reactions, right? If we plug in a positive one or a negative one or a, a positive eight versus a negative four, the function is going to oscillate between uh, different values. And we're going to be using that today. Um, well, I guess something kind of similar with that. Um, and so we're going to get into alternating series. So most of the tests that we've used so far deal with only positive terms, right? Um, and a series whose terms switch between positive and negative is called alternating. And an alternating series cannot have two terms of the same that are that of the same sign back to back. So if one sign is positive, the next sign has to be negative and vice versa. Okay, that's what alternating means. Here's what they look like. So if I have some value a sub n is greater than zero, the alternating series is either going to look like this or this. And the reason it alternates is because I have a negative number to a power. And in this case, if I start with one, Right, this is going to start with negative first, and then positive, then negative, then positive, and so on. If I start with n plus 1, and n being 1, this is going to start positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on. So you can tell what it's going to start with by what you're starting with, the either the n plus 1 or the n value. All right, And so if those two um, are my series... And this a sub n is really what I care about. So you have the negative alternating, the negative one alternating piece. So this is what the alternating piece is. What's left is this a sub n. And with that a sub n is we're going to do two things. So it will converge if these two conditions are met. If I took the limit of a sub n as n approaches infinity, if this is equal to zero and the a sub n original function is greater than or equal to a of n sub 1, or n plus 1. And you might be thinking, well, this, I don't understand this piece. We'll, under, we'll get to that when we get to examples. Okay? If it fails the first condition, then the series diverges by the nth term test. Okay? So if the first condition fails, then the series diverges by the nth term test. So that would be the reasoning for that piece. All right, let's get to some examples. So we want to determine the convergence or divergence of this function. Well, we know that this is going to alternate because of this piece here, negative 1 to the n plus 1. So this is our a sub n. Okay, so because it alternates, now we go into the alternating series test. So we have the limit uh, as n approaches infinity of 1 over n. Well, because the bottom is going to grow really, really large, right, this is going to approach zero, so that's good. So the first um, step holds, or the first number holds, or whatever. The next one we got to do, the first, so this is the first step. The second step is, is, this is the original piece, a sub n, okay? Is that greater than or equal to a sub n plus 1? And you might be like, well, what is a sub n plus 1? Well, we're taking any n that we have in here and we're plugging in n plus 1 into it. So is 1 over n greater than or equal to 1 over n plus 1? Well, yeah, because if n was 1, if n equals 1, this is 1 over 1 is greater than or equal to 1 over 2. Or then 1 over 2 is greater than 1 over 3. So they're all, it will work for any n. So this also holds. So because these both hold, we know that the series converges because of the alternating series test. Okay, so find your a sub n and do your two steps. If both of those hold, then the series converge. All right, let's see what we got. Let's go to down here. So, <clears throat> this is, looks a little weird, and you might be like, wait, what, this doesn't look anything like the negative 1 to a power, so how do I do that? Well, I gotta convert, like, change this to make it in that form. Well, what is this? This is really n over negative 1 
to the n minus 1 times 2 to the n minus 1. Okay? We've got to understand that. So then this is really the same as negative 1 to, to the n minus 1 or negative n plus 1, I guess, if you want to... Right, we've got to change this to a negative, right? So it's negative n plus 1. doesn't really matter. It's still going to converge. All right, it's still going to be alternating. So now we got to think about what this 2 to the n minus 1 means. All right, so that's really 2 on top with 2 to the n to 2 to the n on the bottom. Because if I have this 1 here, in order to get bring this down, I have to subtract from it, right? Minus 1. Okay, because I'm dividing, you got to think about what that means. So this is really 2 over 2 to the n. But I have this n here, so it's really going to be n times 2, or 2n over 2 to the n. Oh, 2 to the n. Okay, so 2n over 2 to the n. All right? So because this alternates right here, all right, this is our a sub n. So I'm going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of 2n over to to the n. Well, hopefully you can see that the denominator is going to grow a lot faster, right? So this is going to approach zero. So this is going to be good. Okay, that's the first step. The second step, does the original function 2n over 2 to the n, is that greater than or equal to the a sub n plus 1? Remember, I have to take out all of the n's and plug in n plus 1. Okay, is this true? Well, well, yeah, it's actually true, okay, because, again, you're going to get some value in your denominator that's going to be bigger than the 2 to the n. This is going to be, so if n was 2, okay, this is going to be 4, and that's going to be 8, and thus, this is gonna actually going to grow faster in the bottom, okay, so we can see that hopefully that makes sense, and it's actually true, and then, therefore, the series is going to converge because of alternating all oh man alternating series test all right cool beans let's go to number two well how is this actually going to alternate like i don't have a negative one there's no negative one here well the cosine pi x is actually going to be your alternating alternating piece okay and so it doesn't have to be negative 1 to a power it could be something that also alternates and in this case it's this cosine what about sine that could also be used and hopefully we can see that if cosine of pi if n was 1 okay this is going to be negative 1 right that now n is 2 and this is going to be uh, 0, or not 0, sorry, it's going to be positive 1. This is n equals 2. If n is equal to 3, I get the cosine of 3 pi, which is actually negative 1. So you're going to see that it alternates between the two values. And because it alternates, now I can use this as my a sub n. So I have the first step, the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n squared. Well, this is going to approach zero, so that's good. Hopefully you can see that. Um, the second one is, hopefully the original is greater than or equal to the n plus 1 squared. Well, hopefully, again, that's definitely true. And so, because those are both true, the series, the series converges. My handwriting is atrocious, but that's okay. Because of alternating alternating series test all right cool beans let's go on to one more example and then we're gonna call it a day all right so let's go on to here and we have the alternating piece here right so this is really just n plus 1 over n that's my a sub n all right so I have the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus 1 over n well, n plus 1 over n is going to be 1, not 0. 
So n plus 1 over n is not 1, it's 0. So this is actually going to diverge. So the series diverges because of the nth term test. Okay, remember we said if the first uh, step fails, right, it's going to diverge because of the nth term test. All right, and that's that's it. That was that was it. That was the last problem. That was a good easy problem. All right, on to the next video. Deuces.